Hello there, James Swanick here. Looking forward to spending some time with you on how to sleep better. Welcome. I am your host for today. We're going to get started here in about seven minutes or so. If you are joining, go ahead and just type it down uh, where you're joining from, which city, which state, which country. would love to know where you're at. And uh, this is going to be fun. We're going to be talking about sleep, looking better, feeling better, reducing stress for our ladies. So, uh, yeah, we'll start here very, very shortly. Let me just get set up here. And... Uh, Okay, so yeah, just give me one second here and we're going to get started, but if you're joining, please do just type in the comment section there. Where are you watching from? Just say hello, what's your name? Hello, Mary from Tacoma, Washington. Lovely to have you with us. How are you? I recognize the name, Mary. Is this, the, or is this a second or third time that you've been on here or is this your first time? I think, uh, I think, maybe it was another Mary, but I think it was you. Maybe we've had a Mary here from previous weeks, I'm not sure. Uh, who else is here? Wherever you're joining from, please do type in your name and your uh, where you're joining from, which city, which state, which country, and then also... Um, Please do send me, uh, sorry, on a scale of 1 to 10, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your sleep? Would it be a 3 out of 10, a 9 out of 10, a 10 out of 10? Um, yeah, I'd love to know. I will be back in one second. We'll get started here. We're going to start at 10.30. Uh, Mary says, see your title doesn't include menopause. Is this not for me? Look, we're going to, we're going to talk about menopause and perimenopause and how that affects sleep. Um, I am not a doctor, so I'm not here to try to resolve your um, you know, menopause issues, but I'm here to resolve sleep issues and how you can... Um, improve your sleep and improve the symptoms of menopause through quality sleep. So I want to just be cl uh, clear with that. I hope that's, um, that's clear, Mary. Hi, Reza from Manila. Nice to have you here. Mary says her sleep is fluctuating. I'll be back in one second. Okay, I'm getting excited about starting this very, very soon. So, uh, who else is here? Let us know in the comments where you're joining from. We're going to get started here very, very soon. 
We're going to give lots of jam-packed stuff here about all things to do with sleep and uh, fixing sleep problems and reducing stress and anxiety, how to reduce stress and anxiety, which is a killer of our sleep, obviously. It's not fun. It's not pleasant. Who here, this is their first time. Is this your first or second time joining us? Go ahead and just type in first time or second time, or maybe you just type in the word newbie if you're a newbie. I want this to be interactive, so I do invite you to post comments as we go along here and ask questions as we go along. I would love for you to uh, ask questions as you go along or give me some feedback as we go along by typing into the, um, the spot down below uh, in the comments section there because that really does help me to stay energized and know that you're out there and give you the best content that I can and help you the best way that I possibly can. Um, Yeah, so let me just do one thing. We're about to start soon. Webinar reminder, okay. All right, it is the bottom of the hour, so let's get started. I'd like to start on time. Welcome, everyone. Great to have you with us. My name is James Swanick. I am the co-founder of the sleep company, Swanick Sleep, and I'm an expert on all things to do with sleep and reducing stress and anxiety. I've coached 20,000 plus people around the world now. And uh, if you're joining and you haven't typed in the comment section yet, I would love for you to just type in where you are watching from, which city, which state, which country. Sometimes we have people from all over the world. Um, please do say hello by typing the details just down below in the comments. So this is for anyone who's been suffering um, from a lack of energy, inability to focus, exhaustion, tiredness, anxiety, a racing mind, poor mental health, depression, irritability, weight issues, insomnia, difficulty waking up, um, if you struggle with forgetfulness, brain fog, um, well, I've got two forgetfulnesses there. I have to change that. Uh, relying on drugs and pills, overeating, procrastination, low productivity, scattered brain, overwhelm, worry, and helplessness. Which one of those are you experiencing from that list? Maya, I just invite you to type in in the comments, which one are you experiencing? Are you stressed out? Are you worried? Are you... Do you have financial worries? Are you arguing at home? Are you not present if you've got children? Are you feeling irritable? I know I do a lot, a lot of the times. And uh, it's crippling, isn't it? Like soul destroying. Which of these are you feeling? Which one, which word resonates most uh, with you out of this list? Go ahead and type that down in the list below, but um, I am going to support you because in the next 45 minutes, I'm going to explain to you why you're still tired despite seven or eight hours of sleep and what you can do about it. And this is particularly aimed at women. So we have, this is a very uh, female centric presentation here today to help, uh, help women in particular. Uh, I'm going to show you how to wake up feeling refreshed and energized even if you sleep less than seven hours. And I'm going to show you the most effective way I know to stop your mind from racing. Um, I'll reveal a simple three-step formula to have you sleeping like a baby and rather than you having to do a sleep study to try and figure all this stuff out, I'll give you most of what a sleep study does. And that means you won't have to take pills or spend thousands of dollars uh, in medical bills. So if you stick around to the Q&A and you ask me a great question, I'm going to give uh, five lucky winners a a uh, free 47 day habit hacker program, which is what I have, um, which is what I produce, which is sold probably about 10,000 of these, which is an amazing um, training video delivered to your inbox every day, which uh, with lots of nutrition advice and mindfulness and, and uh, some exercise tips, things to really hack your environment. So 
we get out of stress and anxiety and into happiness and feeling overall um, fantastic. So if you just wait around about 20 minutes or so while I do the presentation and then you ask me a great question, you'll be in the running to win one of those programs, which I will happily send to you. So let's get into this. Uh, let me just pull this up here for a second. Okay, great. Um, Mary says that she struggles with insomnia and Reza says she struggles with a racing mind. Yeah, racing mind, it's always going, isn't it? 100 miles an hour and insomnia is not being able to sleep well. It's just painful. Thank you for sharing that. So the average woman aged 30 to 60 sleeps only six hours and 41 minutes during the work week. And a great night's sleep is often more challenging for women because of biological conditions unique to women. I'm quoting, um, including obviously the menstrual cycle, there's changing levels of estrogen there uh, and progesterone. Um, pregnancy, there's excess weight and the, and the position of the fetus, which makes sleep um, challenging. Menopause, there are those hot flashes. Thanks, Mary, for sharing that you're experiencing that. I'm sorry that you're experiencing that. Um, being woken up by a male partner. You know, if you have a husband or a partner and you're sleeping in the same bed, obviously men are bigger physically, and so that little movements from them can create big movements in the bed, which makes it more challenging to sleep. Hi, Diane. Um, great to have you here. Welcome. Diane says she grinds her teeth day and night. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, you can get mouth guards for that. You go to a dentist and get it, get it fit. Um, but let's try and stop the grinding in the first place. See how we go here. Uh, and then worrying about problems. I mean, I worry about problems, but women, they've done studies that show that women actually, I think it's, I think they have five times as many thoughts as men during the during an average day. I might be exaggerating that. I'm not sure the exact numbers, but certainly women think and have more thoughts per day than men. And when you worry about those problems, that can be like just agitate and irritate you, as I'm sure you would you've experienced. Also, women tend to multitask. They use more of their actual brain than men. And so this leads to a greater need for sleep. I mean, if we go back to our ancestral days, when we lived in tribes, the men would go out and hunt a bear or hunt a wolf or, you know, some food. And they just that they, they, they've got their spear, for example, and they're just focused on hunting and, and killing the, the prey and bringing it back for food. Whereas women, they're nurturing a baby, they're foraging, they're, they're keeping the home, they're doing all these kind of things. So naturally, from a very reptilian brain, women naturally are better multitaskers. I know I'm an awful multitasker compared to the women in my life who seem to be very, like considerably better than me. I'm just, I feel like a sim uh, like very simple, very simple brain compared to them. But of course, women because you're having more thoughts and you're using more of your brain, this leads to a greater need for sleep. Uh, on average, women need 20 more minute, minutes of sleep than men because of this. And so it's so important to have a natural flow of melatonin, especially for reproductive health, to protect eggs from free radical damage during ovulation. But just so important to have a natural flow of melatonin because women are just, they're thinking more, they're multitasking, they're, they've got hormonal challenges. Um, so sleep is just so, so, so important. If you have irregular sleep patterns, then that can um, cause all kinds of reproductive issues, including increased risk of miscarriage, low birth weight, irregular menstrual cycles, low rate of pregnancy, higher rates of stillbirth. Um, and then according to a study by the National Sleep Foundation, 67% of women lose sleep when they have their period. 67%, so almost 7 out of 10 women lose sleep when they have their period. And then, of course, blue light exposure from our electronics and home lights changes hormone levels. Cramps, breast tenderness, headaches, change in temperature can influence sleep. It's also not uncommon to experience insomnia days before your period and disruptive sleep um, during your period. Menstrual cycles can interrupt the production of melatonin Right? Melatonin is the hormone we need to sleep, but uh, having a period interrupts the production of that. Uh, and then, and then of course, light, like light is so bad for us. Artificial light, I mean, not daytime light, artificial light. Let me just move my 
computer here for a second and you can see the light there in the kitchen is blasting and that I mean you're probably you're right now you're watching me on a computer or on your phone right in fact type in the comments for me down below are you watching on your phone or you're watching on a computer just type that in because whatever you're watching on that artificial light right now that you're watching and listening to me on is compromising your body's ability to produce melatonin because I'm assuming that most of the people watching here are in the northern hemisphere at the moment so if my calculations are correct that must make it let's have a look that must make it uh 5 30 in the afternoon in los angeles 8 30 at night in new york so the sun's down on the east coast and the sun's still up on the uh west coast but um the light uh as the sun goes down light at night by that i mean artificial light starts to compromise our melatonin production Insomnia was found to have a 59% um, hereditary rate in women compared to only 38% in women. Uh, sorry, in men, I should say. Mary says she's watching on a computer. Yeah, Mary, what time zone are you in at the moment? Reza says computer as well. What time zone are you in, Mary? Are you on West Coast, Central, East Coast? Um, Diane, which, which uh, time zone are you in? And also women often don't seek help. Only 7% of women seek professional help for poor sleep. That's crazy. I mean, do you know how long we sleep for? A third of our life. So why are we not focusing on it? One third of our life we're asleep and yet we don't. Only 7% of women are seeking help for poor sleep. Until now, you're doing the right thing because you're on this call. So um, beauty sleep is a real thing according to a Karolinska Institute study that showed that people who miss out on sleep do appear less attractive to others. Uh, dark circled panda eyes and puffy lids can even put others off socializing with you. Isn't that crazy? So the more tired you are, the less likely people want to spend time with you. It's crazy, but it's a very human thing because again, going back to the reptilian brain, um, people are just naturally attracted to healthy looking people. It's a very, very, um, you know, evolutionary psychological phenomena that the reason why we, we find fit and healthy people more attractive is because there's le they're less likely to have disease or less likely to have um, health problems that either we might catch or if we're going to mate, with someone, if we're, if we're talking about romance, for example, the less physically attractive they are, the more the more likely we will be to not um, want to mate with them because less attractiveness in a, in a very evolutionary psycho psychological way, uh, less physical attractiveness might mean uh, less survival rate of offspring or it might represent some kind of you know inherent health issues. Um, we won't go into that right now, but there's a lot of neuroscience, a lot of study study around that that shows that the, the more unattractive looking someone is, the less likely we want to socialize with them. So if, if, we're, if we're not sleeping well, we've got puffy eyes, we're tired, we've got wrinkles, then people find us less attractive. This is the study. This is Karolinska Institute study. So what they did was they got a, um, a whole bunch of people together and they were asked to get a good night's sleep for two nights in a row. A week later, they were asked to restrict themselves to only four hours sleep a night for two nights in a row. So first two nights, sleep great. Next two nights, no, you're only going to get four hours sleep. They then took makeup-free photos of the volunteers and then they asked 122 strangers, w women and men living in Sweden's capital city of Stockholm, to look at the photos and rate them on attractiveness, health, sleepiness, and trustworthiness, as well as asking them, how much would you like to socialize with this person in the picture? The strangers were good at judging if the person they were looking at was tired, and if they were sleepy, their attractiveness score suffered. The strangers also said that they would be less willing to socialize with the tired students who they also perceive to be less healthy. It's a shame. That's human beings for us, though. <laughs> we're all kind of, we're so interesting. 
So when we're not sleeping well, we don't focus on our sleep, we don't sleep well, people find us unattractive. We, we don't look as attractive and, we, and other people don't find us as attractive. Dr. Gail Brewer, who's a psychology expert at the University of Liverpool, uh, said judgment of attractiveness is often unconscious, but we all do it. And we're able to pick up on even small cues, like whether someone looks tired or unhealthy. We want our partners to be attractive and energetic. This study is a good reminder of just how important sleep is to us. So fascinating stuff there. So my promise to you is to give you a step-by-step -step strategy to effortlessly get deep restful sleep without taking pills, even if you've been tossing and turning for years. And if at the end of this, which has been about 20 minutes or so, you feel that you want even more support, then I'll share with you how my team and I can help. Is that okay with you? If that's okay, just type in A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. Um, yeah, we have this amazing community called Sleep Tribe, which I will share with those who are interested in getting some additional support after this call. It's a great community. We hold people accountable and support them and we get on live calls. It's really, really fun. So I'll share a little bit about with, with a little bit about that for those who are interested at the end. All right, does this sound like you? The alarm goes off in the morning, you cringe because you still feel tired and you want more time in bed. You hit the snooze cup, um, sorry, you hit the snooze button, I should say. You pour yourself a cup of coffee. You feel last night's dinner maybe in your stomach. Um, you can taste and feel last night's drink. Maybe you had a glass of alcohol before you went to sleep just to try and take the edge off a little bit. Mary says, wonderful, A-OK, -okay, thank you. Uh, in the afternoon, you're tired after lunch, so you drink an energy drink, a sugary food, you have some strong stimulants. You're grumpy and irritable with friends and family even though you know that's not the real you. You're looking forward to the evening when you can relax with a food, with some food or a glass of wine or watch some TV. Does this sound like you? Just Or which part of this sounds like you might be a better question. <laughs> uh, I know I get tired in the end of the afternoon and sometimes I'm, I'm really looking forward to scrolling incessantly on my phone. <laughs> Just at ridiculous things like sporting scores and things like that. I mean, all of that comes from fatigue, from not sleeping well. What about in the evening? Do, who has a racing mind here? Do you struggle to fall asleep because you're worrying? Do you wake up in the night using the bathroom and tossing and turning? Maybe you take prescription pills. Any of this you? Type in which part of this is you if you can relate to this. The good news is, is that none of these things are the problem. They're only symptoms of the problem. The real problem is that you're currently probably unaware of and do not have a proven, reliable, natural sleep system. Cultural conditioning also minimizes sleep's importance. Society glorifies this, I'll sleep when I'm dead, mentality, you know, let's go, 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 and hustle, 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 got to do things. And we don't teach our children good sleeping habits, do we? Even though, you know, we go to school and we learn math and history and science, we don't learn sleep hygiene, yet we do a third of that in our life, a third of our life is sleeping. And sadly, what we do to try and fix our sleep problems is pop melatonin pills, prescription drugs, hook ourselves up to sleep apnea machines, but all of these things are just band-aid solutions. But once you have a sleep system, then you can fall asleep easily, you can wake up the way nature intended you to wake up, and that is refreshed, energized, and enthusiastic. Who'd like to wake up feeling refreshed, energized, and enthusiastic? And this is the natural way it should be. This isn't like trying to take some secret pill or some fancy device or whatever. This is just waking up the way nature always intended us to wake up. But because of today's modern lifestyle, our sleep is compromised. Once you have a sleep system, you can eliminate that brain fog and replace it with clarity and focus. Feel good for much more of the day. In many cases, the entire day from the moment you wake up until the moment that you fall asleep. Smart, healthy people educate themselves. Smart, healthy people invest in coaching or advisors. And smart, healthy people uh, get accountability. So... Uh, 
account. That's why I was talking about Sleep Tribe before. Sleep and Energy Tribe is actually the name of our company, of our um, community group, Sleep and Energy Tribe. We, we support people. It's so important to uh, have accountability because I can give you all this amazing information and you say, that's great, that's amazing. And maybe you get a dopamine release and you go, wow, that was incredible and you feel really good. But unless you actually do the things that I'm gonna show you right now, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just knowledge that you can recite at a dinner party and say, oh, I learned this stuff about sleep. And you can sound impressive, but unless you're actually being held accountable and lovingly being supported and encouraged to do these things, what, what does that matter? So once you have a sleep system, you be more calm, relaxed, be present with work, family, and friends. You'll feel good. You'll have friends complimenting you on how good you look. The studies show that if we don't sleep well, we don't look as good. But if we do sleep well, then all of a sudden we feel better and we look better. And our friends compliment us about that. So just a little bit more info on me. I'm the co-founder of Swanic Sleep. I'm a health expert. I used to host a TV show called Sports Center on ESPN for those who are sports enthusiasts. We produce these uh, scientifically uh, validated uh, blue light blocking glasses called Swannies from the sleep company Swanic Sleep. Uh, I try to read a book a day. Um, I do pretty well with that. And uh, our products, including the blue light blocking glasses, have been verified and independently studied by uh, University of Washington, Indiana University, the University of Arizona, and the results published in Harvard Business Review and the Journal of Applied Psychology. And then we've also been featured in all those media down below, New York Times today. And uh, wait, there we go. Our, our products are used by, our sleep products are used by professional sporting teams at the Cowboys and the Knicks and the Lakers. And uh, yeah, I've spoken on some TV shows. That's me on the Doctor's TV show. That's me speaking on stage over at um, Paleo FX, and, uh, which is a, a health conference over in uh, Austin, Texas. And then this is a little bit of me. I like oysters. I love oysters. Love supporting Tottenham Hotspur and the Denver Broncos. Yes, I'm a pineapple on pizza kind of guy, and I'm a Bon Jovi fan. <laughs> Anyone else here like Bon Jovi music? So that's a little bit about me. All right, let's get into it. Let's discover the sleep system. Are you still with me out there? Give me a give me a yes or a heck yeah or I'm still with you in the comments down below. I'd love to know that you're still with me. Any questions so far? Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Uh, okay, let's keep going here, shall we? The sleep system, when you, why are you still tired even though you get seven or eight hours sleep and what you can do about it? So here's the thing. It's not about the duration of your sleep. It's about the quality of your sleep. And the inconvenient truth is that you're likely unknowingly compromising the quality of your sleep every single day. And some of the biggest culprits to a poor night's sleep include artificial light, which we talked about. Are you wearing a pair of blue light blocking glasses? I'm wearing a pair of blue light blocking glasses now to protect myself from the from the light, from the blue light. But when the sun goes down, for Mary who's in the uh, west coast, the sun probably hasn't gone down yet. But for those of you um, on the east coast, the sun's probably gone down, and you're in you're indoors, and there's a light, the home lights, and maybe you're on the screen watching me. Are you wearing a pair of blue light blocking glasses? Um, let me just get a pair. This is this is our company here, Swanick. Let me just get a pair of my. One second. Uh, I put them down somewhere. I don't need to. I don't need to use the orange lens glasses at the moment because it's still morning where I am. Uh, I'm in Australia as I'm recording this, and I put my my orange lens glasses down somewhere. And I can't find them. Oh well, that's all right. We'll move on. But if you are on the East Coast and, uh, and, the, and the sun is down and you're indoors using lights, you've really got to protect yourself with a pair of blue light blocking glasses. Because if you don't, then sleep, your sleep is being severely compromised. I mean, you're, a lot of you are watching me now on the computer. I know Mary and um, uh, Diane said that you were watching. I oh, know Diane didn't say that, but there's a few of you who I know are watching on a computer. And that light is is going into your eyes like this. There's a close-up of my eyes. 
and destroying your melatonin production. Um, yeah, Mary says, your Broncos took our Seahawk quarterback. Yeah, Russell, we got him. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. If you're watching TV at night as well, you've got to block the light. A recent study showed that we adults now spend half of our waking hours on digital devices. That's a lot. Half. Wow. In fact, you know what? I do know where my glasses are. Hang on a second. Let me get them. I found them. All right. I knew where they were. Okay, here we go. This is a stylish pair. We've got the clear, the clear frame ones here. And these are the glasses that you want to wear at nighttime. You've also got the aviator glasses as well, which are kind of cool. And I'll show you the view. Uh, and then also, sorry, got a, also got a classic pair of glasses here. But I'll show you the view, what it looks like. Are we ready? Here we go. There we go. So I'll even do it this way. There you go. And, and the view is really, really calming. This will reduce stress and anxiety almost instantaneously. If you are sorry someone who is highly agitated or irritable or stressed or you've got a racing mind, if you just literally put these glasses on, it's almost instantaneous release. Relief, I should say. Because all that light is keeping us stimulated and agitated. And especially if you're scrolling on a phone like this, it's keeping us stressed, it's keeping us worried. But as soon as we put this on, it just calms our whole body, just calms the nervous system. Even if you didn't use these as a sleep aid, even if you didn't care about sleep, even if you just wanted to reduce depression or anxiety or stress, irritability or, or just feel calmer, wearing these glasses at nighttime will protect your eyes from the, the light that, that stimulates our pituitary and pineal gland. I'll explain that in a second. Mary says she'd love to get a pair of your glasses. I wear reading ones at night. Yes, we've got fit overs, Mary, that go over the top. I'll share with that in a little, little, uh, a little bit. Um, so yeah, blue light uh, uh, side effects include headaches, obesity, cancer, eye fatigue, uh, stress, worry, and that blue light is compromising your melatonin production. And what actually happens is the light comes in and it, it stimulates the pituitary and pineal gland, which causes us to be alert at a time of night when we're supposed to be uh, calming ourselves down. So this cat is in a lot of trouble because the cat is not wearing a pair of blue light blocking glasses and staring into a screen, which is not gonna be fun. Noise is a really big thing as well. Noise, um, I, I wear these uh, really high quality silicon earplugs, which we produce at Swanick. Um, they've done studies that showed that even minimal noise is enough to compromise your sleep quality. So definitely I recommend using um, the silicon earbuds that which mold inside of your ear, not the, the little nasty foam ones that kind of feel a bit awkward, which, you know, those kind of ones that they give you on a plane. I'm talking about the silicon ones, which really do block out a lot of that, that noise. Um, light in your room. There was an article actually on CNN just yesterday, only yesterday. In fact, let me see if I can pull this up that said that any amount of light messes with your sleep. Let me see if I can find it. You'll, you can see my wonderful organization here, but let's have a look here. Webinar, um, beauty sleep. No, where is it? Let's have a look here. Let's go cnn.com. And it was something to do with light. It was sleep and light. Maybe it came up yesterday. Here it is. I found it. Exposure to any light during sleep linked to obesity and serious health concerns. This came out just yesterday, June 22nd. Crazy. Let me save that there. There we go. Exposure to any light during sleep linked to obesity. And it found that um, even dim light can disrupt your sleep, raising the risk of serious health issues in older adults. Is this making sense so far? Is this helpful? I hope so. Uh, is this helpful so far? Go ahead and type in a comment. I'd love to, love to know. So yeah, any amount of lights, street lights, alarm clock lights, microwave lights, bathroom lights. So you must wear an eye mask. Um, temperature, your body wants to, be, uh, wants to be in a cool environment, 65 to 69 degrees. 
Likewise, if you're too cold, this can disrupt your sleep. So 65 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit is the, um, is the perfect amount of, of temperature that studies have shown for an optimal uh, sleep. Mary asked, do your earbuds really fit and stay in? I wear them every night, but they're not good ones, so they don't block all the noises. Yeah, which ones? Yeah, they do, and I'll explain it more in, in a second. The answer to your question is yes, they really do fit and they really do stay in. Absolutely, 100%. Uh, we only do top quality at, at, uh, at Swanick. Otherwise, my mother would disown me. <laughs> um, if your bedroom's not relaxing, if you've got a messy bedroom, you've probably got a messy mind. You've heard the phrase, messy mind, messy bedroom, messy mind. Um, this is a lovely woman named Irene, who's in our sleep and uh, sleep and energy tribe. She said that she was having difficulty sleeping. Um, she used to get up in the middle of the night and she couldn't get back to sleep. But since she's been in our sleep and energy tribe and she's used the blue light blocking glasses, you can see she's wearing a pair of our daytime glasses there. Um, she falls asleep easier at night. Oops. And uh, if she gets up to use the bathroom, she's able to fall right back to sleep. All she did was implement the plan that we gave her in the sleep and energy tribe and she used the glasses and she blocked the noise and she wore a sleep mask and she did the things that we presented to her and now she's smiling and really happy. She was just on our last call on Monday actually. She's been on the past three or four uh, sleep and energy tribe uh, group accountability community calls we have. So how do you wake up productive and energized even if you didn't get as much sleep as you would like? So let's go through that. Um, most people only focus on the nighttime routine. Most people only focus on the nighttime routine. And of course, the nighttime routine is focused on pills and relaxing. And people say, don't use electronics. You shouldn't use electronics. But an energizing morning routine is equally important. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people are unaware that what you do in the first 20 minutes of your day can seriously impact the quality and duration of your sleep at night. Did you know that? Maybe you didn't. So the most important thing you can do first thing in the morning is get morning sunlight on your skin. Our skin has receptors in it and when the sunlight hits our skin, it tells our body's internal clock, which is called our circadian rhythm, oh, this is daytime. And so what happens is the body starts to flood with daytime hormones, including cortisol. And we want that, we, we want that alertness. But most people today, when they wake up, they stay indoors, they pour themselves a cup of coffee, they're prolonging the cortisol, the damaging effects of cortisol by having a coffee within 20 minutes of waking up, they're staying indoors. And because of that, their body's internal clock doesn't know whether it's morning or nighttime, it's unsure. And then 16 hours later, the body's gonna really struggle to fall asleep or, or sleep the way that nature intended it to sleep simply because you've stayed indoors and not expose yourself to natural sunlight first thing in the morning. So the first thing to do is to go outside, get natural sunlight on your skin, your body's internal clock will say, oh, okay, I got it, this is daytime. It'll set the timer for 16 hours later in order for it to start turning on the melatonin faucet. Studies show that morning exercise um, is, is better for your sleep than afternoon or evening. They did a study where folks who exercise at seven in the morning, they compared it to folks who exercised at 1 p.m. or 7 p.m. and those who, who exercised at 7 a.m. slept more at nighttime. So if you do exercise, the best thing to do, at least according to the studies, is to ensure that you're exercising during the morning. Uh, and then breath work, breathing, conscious, mindfulness, meditation, whatever you want to call it, whether it's just slow controlled breathing or whether it's actually sitting down for 20 minutes and doing a proper meditation is incredibly important. Um, Mary asks, if it's too cold in Washington, what if you wake up before it's daylight? Yeah, you can actually get a, um, a wake up uh, lamp from, Pan um, from Philips, I think it is. I'll pull it up later on if you ask that question in the Q&A or remind me. But you can get this alarm light where when you wake up, you can mimic the sun by actually um, standing in front of this, this light for a, a few minutes. In fact, that you can get an alarm clock where instead of waking up to your alarm in your phone or something, the light will just gradually come, come on and sort of shine on your face and shine on your um, arms and shine on your body, which will just start to very slowly kind of w wake you up. 
That's a great question, Mary. Um, relaxing evening routine. All right. So most people will watch TV. They'll count sheep. They'll read a book. Like who would have thought that reading a book would be so dangerous? Well, it is if you're not blocking the blue light with um, a pair of blue light blocking glasses. Some people will drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, eat food. Um, most people will do that, and that's why they have really troubling sleep patterns. One of the top ways to stop your mind racing at night is uh, hypnotherapy. And I'm not talking about the cheap hypnotherapy that, that you can get on a YouTube video. I'm talking about from a proper licensed hypnotherapist and sleep expert. Um, we do have one of these uh, available, actually, for our sleep and uh, energy tribe members. And there'll be an opportunity for you to get your hands on the one that we've produced uh, at, in, in a few minutes when we get to the end of this. But listen to hypnotherapy is a great combination of alpha waves and beta waves and theta waves, which get your mind from that racing agitated state down into a very calm, relaxed state, ready for, um, ready for sleep. Other things that create poor sleep patterns in terms include what time you drink coffee. Like it's not just drinking coffee, it's also the time that you drink coffee, what foods you eat, when you eat food, whether you should have a warm, hot or cold shower and what time you should take the shower, when you consume alcohol, if you are going to consume alcohol, and then of course the different number of topics in your mind. All of these things can create poor sleep. Who knew that uh, there was a timing around when you should eat or 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 not eat, or when you should drink coffee or not drink coffee. In fact, I'll give you a little hint about alcohol. You're actually better off having a glass of wine or a beer for breakfast than you are having it at nighttime because alcohol um, really does destroy sleep patterns. It's true that it might help you feel sleepier and help you not, you know, fall asleep quicker, but it will severely compromise the quality of your sleep. Um, so yeah, really important you know when to drink coffee, when to have your last meal. There's a period of time before sleep that you should stop eating. Um, this is another woman, Aria from New Jersey, another East Coaster like, uh, like Mary over in Washington, I think. That's where you are, right? Is that where you are? Or you're in... Uh, where are you? I know you're on the West Coast now. No, wait, I'm not sure. Uh... Or are you, oh wait, what are you on in, in Washington? Do you mean Seattle, Washington? Are you in Washington State, not Washington, D.C.? Uh, I probably got that mixed up. Um, anyway, this is Aria from New Jersey. Used to take her three hours to fall asleep. Now it takes her 30 minutes. She's a part of our sleep and uh, energy tribe. So quick recap, it's not about the duration of your sleep, it's about the quality of your sleep. It's not just the nighttime routine, it's the daytime and morning routine. Waking up productive and energized and implementing a morning routine directly impacts your sleep. Implementing a nighttime routine directly impacts your sleep. So the way to um, get this, the way to, the way to improve your looks, your self-confidence, your energy from great night's sleep, um, is to follow a process. And when you follow this process or this system, you can eliminate sleep problems, you can increase your daytime energy, alertness, create more time and energy, you can invest in your lifestyle, um, increase your productivity, improve well-being, reduce your stress. Reducing stress is a huge thing. It's so damaging for a stress. The old way was drinking alcohol, trying to go to bed earlier, taking a pill, counting sheep, reading a book, watching Netflix, Staying up till you're exhausted, sleeping in, catching up on the weekends, taking stimulants, exhausting yourself with exercise. And again, the old way is a band-aid that doesn't fix the core problem. And all this leads to this kind of person here, just a very unhappy camper. <laughs> um, the new way, which I want to invite you to step into, the new way, the new powerful way, uh, is to energize, optimize and relax. And energizing comes from being held accountable to keep healthy habits like drinking lots of water. I've got a big bottle here. I drink two of these a day. Massive, massive, massive amounts of water. Uh, exercise, this woman's got it right. She's doing it in the sunlight too. So she's outside, she's in nature and she's moving. This person, this lovely woman here is meditating and this woman here is eating appropriately, right? So 
really, really important here that we keep up a good energized routine. And then optimizing is knowing what foods to eat and when, knowing what foods not to eat and when. There are foods like uh, turkey, for example, has a lot of tryptophan in it, and turkey helps you to feel sleepy and fall asleep. You know, on Thanksgiving in the US, everyone eats a big turkey, and then afterwards you're just exhausted and you're tired. That's because there's so much tryptophan in a turkey. And tryptophan is a natural, um, natural hormone that helps people to fall asleep. But knowing what foods to eat and when is so important. Uh, and then relaxing, of course. We talked about relaxing. Um, making sure that you're taking time, you're listening to that hypnotherapy, you're wearing a pair of blue light blocking glasses, such as the ones from Swanick that relax you and calm you, that get you out of that irritability, irritable and, and agitated mode. Uh, let me put these glasses back on because I was feeling agitated without them. Now I've got them on, I'm like, oh, I feel so much calmer again. Uh, yeah, so the, so the Swanick sleep system is guaranteed to have you sleeping like a baby. This gentleman, Josh, in the Czech Republic, used to go to bed around 2 a.m. and now he's going to bed around 10 or 11. He actually says 10 and 11. So, well, even conservatively, he's now um, he's now falling asleep three hours earlier than previously. Three hours earlier, because he was part of our sleep tribe, sleep and energy tribe, and he just followed the process and he was held accountable and he had fun doing so. Appropriate accountability, knowledge isn't power because I've just given you a whole bunch of knowledge and that's great and you can feel really good about it, but. Will you actually implement this type of stuff? How do you actually sleep better? And the answer is with appropriate accountability. And that means, you know, having a coach like me or having um, some other people that you're uh, supporting with, that, who are supporting you and you're supporting them and you feel part of a, a tribe. That's why we call it sleep tribe. Now you can go into a sleep study, which is amazing because that'll identify the problems and you'll get some coaching and you'll be held accountable by your doctor to go and make the changes. Um, the problem is it costs about $3,000 to $10,000, and most of those sleep studies are not covered by insurance. In fact, almost all of them are not covered by insurance. So if you've really got these sleep problems, you can go and hire someone, but it's gonna cost you, in some cases, five figures, which is a lot, at least thousands of dollars. Uh, but it is good because it, um, you know, you've got a doctor, you've got someone who's identifying what the challenges are, and, and held keeping you accountable and because you've spent all that money you're likely to actually listen to the advice and take the advice so anyone committed to improving their sleep so they can have vibrant health and show up at their best for their family and their career is going to invest in coaching and accountability so it really is the obvious choice um, your sleep affects your health your finances your family the quality and duration of, of your life and so investing in your sleep really does ensure a great quality of life. I'm just gonna move over into the, uh, the dungeon here. Let's move over here, there we go. So let's carry on here. Um, yeah, being invested makes you committed. So actually uh, investing time and energy, money, resources, um, focus, uh, on a goal ultimately helps you get the uh, end result that you're that you're seeking the bottom line is investing in coaching and accountability is what makes you committed to creating healthy sleep habits so what you need to win is understanding that the real problem is cultural conditioning that's setting you up to fail because people don't put enough time and energy into this we sleep a third of our life and yet we just don't focus on it um, number two shifting your strategy to adding an energizing morning routine that's so, so, so important. People only focus on the nighttime routine. We should be focusing on the morning routine. Number three is optimizing the daytime routine with meal timing. So what time you have your first meal of the day, when you have lunch, when you have dinner, what foods you're eating. And then the fourth thing is changing your nighttime routine, which is including wearing blue blockers, which I'm wearing now, an eye mask, listening to a certified sleep hypnotherapy and eliminating noise with some really high quality earplugs not the ones that fall out like Mary suggested. And then the fifth one is investing in appropriate accountability. 
appropriate accountability, not your husband or your wife who's saying, you can do it, come on, and they're cheering you in the corner. I mean a proper coach who's studied this for seven years and people who are going through the same thing as you who are also wanting to reduce stress and anxiety. That's appropriate accountability. So today I promise you uh, I'd reveal why you're still tired even though you get eight hours more of sleep, how to wake up productive and energized, the number one way to stop your mind racing at night, which is the hypnotherapy, and then the easy three-step formula, which is the optimize, energize, and, and relax. And then the sleep doctor's secret weapon is the sleep study, but you don't need the sleep study. You don't need to pay all the money because all of the things that you will learn from the sleep study uh, is uh, readily available for you um, in our sleep and energy tribe. So you have a choice now, which is keep doing what you've been doing, or you can take the advice that I've given you and try to do it on your own. Um, or uh, I did say at the beginning of the call, for those of you who are interested, I'd be happy to, or I'd love to, or invite you to join us in our sleep and energy tribe, which is a 28-day waking up energized sleep solution. And uh, if you'd like to look like this lovely woman and feel really nice and refreshed, um, here's what you'll get. You'll get 28 daily training videos, which I will send to you in your inbox. So you just got to click on it, open it. It's a little one, two minute, five minute little video. It doesn't take that much time. And this is what it looks like. Uh, all this content here is um, goes into a little bit more detail about we talked about about what we talked about today, the importance of morning sunlight, morning exercise, etc. It kind of looks like this. All of our members get these videos. Um, this is me talking at a keynote conference in Austin, Texas, recently. So you'll get, um, you know, what time you should finish eating, perfect sleep temperature. Um, calming jewelry, the type of jewelry that you can wear that helps you sleep. You might notice I'm wearing, um, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a, it's not really a brace, it's like a wrist thing, isn't it? But uh, there's, a, there's a reason why I wear that, which helps me with their sleep, but talk about that. Um, which sleeping position is best, and a whole lot of other things. So when you're part of Sleep and Energy Tribe, you get the content. Um, you, I'll reveal what time you should have your first coffee in the morning, final coffee, how much alcohol is okay, best pillows and mattresses, um, how to get back to sleep when you wake up, uh, if you've got kids, how to make bedtime really easy for kids. Um, I'll also send you the digital version of um, the Sleep on Demand book. So for those who don't like watching on video, I've got a digital um, version of it where you can read it. Maybe some people prefer to read books, other people like to watch videos. And you'll be able to generate um, you know, the looks, I'm saying looks because when you sleep well, obviously studies have shown us now, you look better and, and the energy and the feeling and you'll be more productive and and um, you'll be able to get in a community as well. So it's two ninety seven dollars as a one-time payment or you can break it up into four interest fee installments. And if you put the link, uh, the link there is go.swanicsleep.com slash sleep tribe. Um, I'll have, uh, we'll drop the link here in the uh, chat here so you can just click on that. And uh, yeah, it's two ninety seven. But we're also going to include um, text messages. So I'm going to text message you morning and night for twenty eight days to remind you. So in the morning, you'll get a text that says, "Hey Mary," or "Hey Diana," or "Hey Christy." Um, don't forget to get morning sunlight right now. So you'll get up, you get that friendly reminder, and then at night time, we'll say, "Hey, don't forget to wear your blue light blocking glasses." Or remember, this is the last time. Um, you should probably stop eating around this time. To you have a great sleep. This is this built-in accountability. Um, so for 28 days, you'll get two text messages from me a day. And then uh, access to Sleep Tribe coaches. So you'll get me, obviously, and then I've got a team of other coaches who'll come on on occasion on these live Zoom calls that we do, um, where everyone sees one another and you can talk to one another and we do these fun little exercises and you'll be able to ask specific questions relating to your unique circumstances. And then, of course, you get access to the Sleep Tribe community, which is new friends and acquaintances. This is a screenshot I took of a, a recent Sleep Tribe call. All of these folks kindly gave me permission to take the photo and share it with you. Um, they wanted me to share the photo with you so you could get a visual idea of what it looks like. Um, you can see here there's uh, Aria, there's um, uh, a few of the people that I mentioned uh, before. 
this lovely woman here is from Malaysia. She joins us from Malaysia, um, California, uh, Canada. This gentleman, Jeffrey, the starts, name starts with a G, G-E-O-F-F-R-E-Y. Marla is from, Aust I think she's from Texas. Donna. So everyone knows each other. Everyone's really friendly. And uh, this is what a, a, a Zoom call looks like. Goes for about an hour uh, every Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific, I think, at the moment. And then we've got this cool little Marco Polo group where people talk to each other during the week in between calls and share little video stories about their health and nutrition and lifestyle. It's really, really fun. Um, you know, I do coaching and I have a program that um, where um, it's $8,500 to do my 90-day coaching program. So the bonuses of me moderating a lot of these calls, I, I, you know, I've been conservative, but it's, I would usually charge about $1,200 for this because um, I've been doing this for so long, but you know it's only 297. The appropriate accountability um, increases your chance of success. So if, look at this, this is fascinating. Um, when you have ongoing communication, whoops, and check-ins with accountability partners, the chance of succeeding almost doubles, increases by 95%. It's amazing, isn't it? By the way, there's a link down in the um, comments down there as well. If you click on that link, that'll take you through and I'll just show you, actually, let me just change my screen again. Let me just go here and I'll show you. Um, there's a couple of options. This is, uh, well, actually, let me just, yeah, this is where you can get the Sleep Tribe on that link. This is what it looks like. But let me just finish what I was going to share with you. Uh, let me just go back here, slideshow. Um, yeah, the total value with coaching everything is about three three $3,000 because my program is $8,500 for 90 days. So... It's about three grand if someone was going to hire me to, to help them, you know, separately from this. But it's only two ninety seven. Um, but we'll also include uh, the sleep hypnotherapy track. So remember, we talked about the sleep hypnotherapy. Um, if you uh, join us on this call, I'd be happy to send that out to you. Um, and uh, we've got about ten minutes left of this call. So yeah, if you join us in the next ten minutes or so, I'll send out the sleep hypnotherapy track for you. And also, if you're wanting to get some physical products, we have this Sleep Tribe physical products bundle, which we can add to it if you like. So we'll send you out either a pair of the uh, regular blue light blocking glasses, or if you wear prescription glasses, like I know someone mentioned here, we can wear send you a pair of the fitovers. And then we'll send you these two anti blue light uh, light bulbs, which create a really, really um, um, beautiful, calming kind of um, feeling. In fact, this lamp right here, let me just show you. This lamp right here, the light that you can possibly see, is using one of our um, one of our Swanic light bulbs. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the strip away 99.9% .9 of all the damaging artificial blue light. So you can get these and put it on your bedside table or in your kitchen light or bathroom light and try them out. And what you'll find is that you'll feel so much calmer and the stress will start to fall away, which will help you to be able to fall asleep. Um, <clears throat> we've got these reusable silicon uh, sound blocking earplugs. Who was asking me about that? Was that you, Mary? Mary said, do your earbuds really fit? Yes, so these are the earbuds here. They mold into your ears. They're not like the foam ones. You can manipulate them in a way where it blocks out all the noise, but they're still really comfortable and not disconcerting, you know? And so we've created these um, from Swanick. They're amazing. We also have the world's, uh, our sleep mask was voted the world's top sleep mask in 2017. It's 100% silk. You can see the woman here is, it's oversized. So it's deliberately bigger than the normal ones that you might get on a plane, for example. Um, so it covers most of the light. Remember that CNN article that said that um, any amount of light um, can distract you and mess with your sleep. And this is a photo of me back when I had hair, pretending to, to read a book, wearing the glasses, and you can see here how, how it looks. Um, we'll also send you this Better Night Sleep Tea. I'm going to invite you to stop drinking coffee, certainly at night time, because that any amount of caffeine does mess with your sleep. However, uh, this sleep tea we've formulated for you, and we'll be happy to send this out to you uh, when you upgrade. And the upgrade is only another two hundred dollars for that. So if you wanted to get the Sleep Tribe and the bundle, it'd only be four ninety-seven with me now on this particular presentation. 
and you can break it up into four payments if you like. Let me just show you really quickly um, how you would do that. So here's the link. When you go on this page, you click on the link which is in the, the comments there. This link will get you just the Sleep Tribe, the digital program, and get you joining us on those weekly calls. And then if you wanted to upgrade and take advantage of getting a, a deal and a discount on um, our products, you click on that link. And then you see here, you can break it into four installments if you like. Excuse me one second. Um, yeah, so uh, you can break that up into four, four installments, which would only be $134.50 to do it to start today. Um, so yeah, so just to reiterate that, you can either just get the Sleep Tribe, which is with, um, with me as your coach and the fun and the moderation, and we're going to help you and support you. And you can break that up into four installments of $74.25. So it's as cheap as $74.25 to start today. And join us on that group. Join on the live calls on Monday. You'll be with me. I'll be communicating with you, talking to you, introducing you to people. Um, or you can go back and you can choose uh, one of these two, which is with the sleep product bundle. This is for people who wear prescription glasses. So this is for non-prescription wearers and this is for prescription wearers. So we just click on that and uh, that'll take you through and you can pay in one time or you can just make the payment go into four easy installments. Um, so let me just bring this back up on the screen. They're the products again. Um, that's a pair of the, the classic glasses. These are the fitovers. This is the world's best sleep mask. We'll send two of these light bulbs and we'll send you some tea and the earplugs. Where are the earplugs? Oh, we didn't put them in there. I've got to put the photo of the earbuds in there somewhere. Must have missed those out. So yeah, um, how much have you invested in your sleep? Like I said, we do it for three we do it three times, sorry, a third of our life we sleep, but we don't spend time and energy on it. But this is your opportunity to do so. Come and join us. A um, few famous people here who use our sleep products, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Max Lugavere, Denver Broncos football team, all wear the Swannies glasses, Dr. Josh Axe, Dr. Mark Hyman, basketball star Paul George are all wearing our blue light blocking glasses. So at the very least, I would invite you to get yourself a pair of glasses because they do work and they do support you. Um, and then we've also got a guarantee, which is the I better fall asleep Swanick guarantee. So if you don't see a marginal or nominal or significant improvement in your stress anxiety levels, you don't have fun, you don't like it, then we'll refund you for whatever reason. Haven't had anyone refund yet. So yeah, 297 just to be in Sleep Tribe or 497 with the physical products and then that'll have you sleeping like a baby. <laughs> Let me just put it back on the screen there. So uh, some more stuff about sleep. Has this been helpful so far? We've got five minutes to go. But let me just share some more stuff about sleep that um, is fascinating. And uh, whoops, let me just go back here. Let me just go up to the top here. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. There we go. Here we go. So here, let's do some benefits of sleep. Include a boost your immune system, prevents weight gain, strengthens your heart, increases productivity, improves your memory, resets the brain and body, helps you to be rational, creative, and find solutions to problems. It increases the blood supply to the muscles, less conflict in relationships, reduces the risk of diabetes, dementia, and heart disease. Whew, man, prioritizing your sleep, in my opinion, is the best life insurance policy that you can have. And then um, they've done these studies that showed in Seattle, Washington. Actually, Mary, you're in Washington. You'll be interested in this. Um, they, they, they made later, uh, they changed school start times from 7.50 in the morning to 8.45, and the student grades improved. And there was a 70% drop in teen car accidents, which shows when you are tired, you're more likely to get involved in a car crash. But when you're well rested, you're less likely. So pretty fascinating stuff. And then there were the ramifications of insufficient and poor quality sleep. Um, you know, more prone to high blood pressure, diabetes, you're in a bad mood, your reduction in empathy, less compassion, um, difficulty regulating emotions, more impulsive. So there's a whole lot of nastiness there as well, as you can see. So, um, you know, being... And then here's a study, actually. In daylight saving, folks in the Northern Hemisphere in particular will know this. When the clocks go forward... 
an hour and you lose that hour of sleep, then judges in the United States give defendants longer sentences. <laughs> so the judges are even not very well slept and they tend to um, give harsher sentences. But when the clocks go back and you get an extra hour, then the sentences uh, are lighter, which is really interesting. So prioritizing your sleep really is the best life insurance policy that you can um, have, in my opinion. So um, questions, who's got questions? Go ahead, ask questions. And let's make sure we give out some free prizes here. Can you drop your email address in? And I will, Mary, you've been asking great questions the whole way through. I'm going to send you um, a free 47-day Habit Hacker program. I'm going to send that to you. Just a reminder, if you do want to join us in Sleep Tribe, then the link is there, go.swanicsleep.com for slash sleep tribe. And there's also a link that I've posted down in the comments down below. Um, let's take some questions. Who's got, who's got a question? Who's got a question? Give me a question. Who wants uh, some free stuff? Who wants the 47-day habit hacker? Um, send it through. Uh, let me just have a look. I'm just looking at the comments here. Um, what has felt most valuable for you on today's call? I'd love for you to let me know. Just go ahead and like, what was the what was the aha moment for you? Uh, who's joining us? Who's joined us in Sleep Tribe? Who's joining us? Who's going to come and hang out with me every Monday and uh, do more of this kind of fun stuff with these folks here? It's a lot of fun. We do stress reduction exercises. We do journaling exercises. We uh, play games. We have fun. We really make sure that everyone is, is experiencing performance and peak performance, and we hold each other accountable. So at the end of each call, we say, what are you going to do this week? And people kind of declare what they're going to do. And then when they come back the following week, we um, check in with them and see how they've, excuse me, see how they've gone. <clears throat> and uh, it's been really, <clears throat> excuse me super powerful for people been changing their lives and transforming and feeling better and looking better and losing weight and reducing um, cholesterol and triglycerides and stress and anxiety and look all these happy campers mary says thank you but another question is do you need both the blue light glasses with the light bulb for bed light yes great question um reza if you're there can you get mary's email address so we can send her the 47 day habit hacker for asking such a great question yes you do i'll tell you why because um, uh, the, um, so, so, so there's, so the damaging blue light comes from your bathroom light, kitchen light, alarm clock light, refrigerator light, um, speedometer light, the traffic light, the, uh, bedside table light, right? All of that light, there's so much artificial light in your, in your home, right? Plus, not to mention the screen that you're watching on right now. So the moment you look at your screen, right, like a computer or a um, <clears throat> cell phone, excuse me, um, you are compromising your body's ability to, to sleep well, right? You're just you're just messing with your sleep production, uh, melatonin production. I'm sorry. So unless you can be absolutely certain that you've got every single light bulb in your home with um, uh, being one of these better nights Swanick, um uh, light bulbs and not and no other normal lights in your home <clears throat> I'm so sorry excuse me it's going to be very challenging for you not to be compromising your melatonin production so it's a not a or it's an and so I use this and I use this the the, the light right the, the and I use a pair of the, the blue light blocking glasses because I know I don't have those light bulbs in every every um, room. I do in my own home, but at the moment I'm at my, I'm at my father's place and just um, taking care of him for a little bit. And his place isn't decked out with all of this kind of stuff, right? His place is still got um, all those nasty light bulbs and things like that. He wears glasses, blue light blocking glasses, which is, which is great, but there's still all that other light. So you kind of got, almost got to like build a fortress to make sure you don't have any of that artificial light. And rather than build a fortress, what I would encourage you to do is at the very least wear the blue light blocking glasses and then and then but I would also encourage you to get those get that light get those um, anti blue lights not least because it's very calming like it's beautifully and calming anyway it creates a nice ambiance um, and there's also remember you still you still if you don't have the glasses 
It's not going to do anything about the alarm clock light, the bed, the bathroom light, the kitchen light, the hallway light, like the alarm clock light, the microwave light, the refrigerator light. I mean, so much of this light. That's why, that's why you really got to wear a pair of glasses to block all of that light. <clears throat> I hope that helps, Mary. Um, Mary, if you're reading in bed before sleeping, definitely read with the with the with the better night's light bulb, and definitely be wearing a pair of blue light blocking glasses for sure, because most people read at night and uh, thinking that they're helping themselves get to sleep, but they're not blocking that light. So you really got to block the light. Is that helpful? I hope that's helpful. Uh, so yeah, so once again, if you go to go.swanicsleep.com sleep tribe and join us in our sleep tribe, then I will see you on Mondays uh, on our Zoom call. Looking forward to supporting you. And uh, Mary says, yes, great. And um, if you'd like to get our bundle or add the bundle, then you can uh, add this. We'll send you these glasses, the sleep mask, the light bulbs, the sleep tea, and the earbuds. I didn't put in the earbuds. That's my my... Oh, there they are. They're the earbuds. Yeah, we're going to send you these as well. I just didn't put it on that final image. I need to change that. I need to put the earbuds there. So we'll send you this. Um, yes, yeah, $250 value, but you're going to save 50 bucks if you get the uh, the bundle. Um, we'll send you the glasses, two of these light bulbs. We'll send you the earbuds. We'll send you the world's best uh, sleep mask. It was voted world's best in 2017. And then you'll also, we'll send you the sleep tea. And then also you'll get the uh, the training videos, one a day. Uh, and then I'll text message you. Like I said, I'm going to, whoops, I'll send you the book. I'm sorry. And I'll send you the hypnotherapy. And uh, there we go, the text message. I'm going to send you text messages for accountability, one in the morning, one at night. Access to me, access to the Sleep Tribe community, which looks like this. There's, uh, yeah, join us. There'll be so much fun. It'll be so much fun. And you'll feel better, look better, perform better, reverse health issues and concerns, and uh, be part of our tribe. Be part of the Swanick family. Be part of the Swanick and Energy, Swanick Sleep and Energy tribe, which is our beautiful family. We've helped 150,000 people around the world now, um, including Arnold Schwarzenegger and. Max Lugavir and Denver Broncos. Sorry about that, stealing your, your quarterback. Um, yeah, we've got Russell Wilson now. But yeah, the Denver Broncos, New York Giants, they're all wearing these glasses for peak performance. And uh, thank you for being on the call today. Hope this was really helpful. I'll leave this link up here for another five minutes. And uh, I'll speak to you on the next one.